All right, we're gonna see how this new camera works. Finally got something maybe it's gonna put a little bit better spin on what we're doing or show what I'm doing in this shop a little better. I'm still gonna need a few more accessories to make this thing just right. I'm probably gonna to have to buy a gimbal uh, because let's face it, this thing's pretty heavy and holding it up here the way I am right now kind of sucks. But I can already look at it and say I think it's gonna have a better picture. So we'll see. Tripod set up and I'm gonna go through changing out the U-joints in this truck you can kind of see dirty they're not bad they're built up enough with enough crap that I wouldn't trust it for more than a little short time uh, the other one feels alright I've got a new one for it I'll probably run it and see how it acts for a short time we'll go from there but get all my stuff together and uh, I'll get ready once I do I'll check out this new camera and get this U joint replaced. We'll go through step by step. So the first thing is we've got internal clips here and here that we need to take at least one of those off and then push the U joint through. You can see right here, I've got one right here. I'll have to take the other one off. This one's easy to get to. I've already cleaned it up some. Pop that off of it. Just a little C-clip, not a big deal at all. Clean this thing up a little bit, see if we can find the other end. Oh, there's that one. I was able to hook it while well, I hooked it by mistake, so that one was pretty easy. So it's best, of course, if you have, uh, you know, some kind of something to push out with. Personally, I'm using a socket. I like to use a shallower wall. I'm not going to put a whole lot of pressure on this, so that's just big enough that. The U joint here will pass through it. You can see that thing's dry and corroded. Up. Probably would have never, probably never been greased. So, regardless, I've got that. I'm gonna put it up here on my press. Should hopefully be able to put one there. So I was able to push that all the way out. Pull that one off now. So I'll line it up, put my socket on the other side, push that through until the trim's out, then I'll be able to get that U joint in place. I'm gonna put the new one in, <laughs> do basically the same thing. Take the end caps off, put it in, slide it in. through popped it out there it is that one actually had a little grease on it and then go sideways so clean all this up real good because again what I've said is when you put these in you have to take these caps off well those little specks of dirt right there are enough that it would ruin this U joint in half the time that it should or more so Make sure everything's good and clean. I know I preach it enough, but that should be uh, enough to enough to eat off of right there. So let me get something and we'll clean this up real good. Give me just a minute. All right, so it's all cleaned up. That'll keep us from having a bunch of uh, much contamination. That'll keep us that'll keep the contamination down to a minimum. Drop it in place. There you go. Right, so, 
something to consider. So where are my grease fittings going to be? This puts it to the rear. I don't really like that. I'm going to pull this thing right back out. And we'll move it to the front so that when I go put it in the drive shaft, if I need to grease it, I can get to it a little easier. There's a little more room on the drive shaft side than there is. Maybe. Let that go. That might be the only way to do it. All right. Yeah, so it will not fit the other way. So really the only chance I've got is that. No big deal. All right. When I start pushing these in, what I like is to go ahead and get one side started like so. I'll put this in the press now and push this one down. Go. The next thing to remember <clears throat> is even then it's good and tight right there, right? So <clears throat> just a little bit overpressed. What I generally do is I'll tap pretty good lick both sides and then I'll kind of pull the bearing back out. So right below the bearing, right there, you want to enough to kind of get the bearing cap seated to the outside here and there it is I'm ready to put this thing in the truck maybe we'll be able to get this truck back around so guys two part on this one one I need to just use joint replaced and I might as well go ahead and do a step by step on it number two just bought this new camera wanted to give it a try out so Tell me what you think. Is the video quality a little bit better now? Am I looking, you know, is the colors a little better? Or is it just, you see too much ugly face, whatever. Let me know about the camera. Let me know what you think here. As always, guys, hit that subscription button. Come back for more. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next one. And let me know what's going on in the comments. Thanks.